The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The bigger, better, badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast. It is a Monday night as we kick off another brand new week. Good times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Globe. Hey, the phone number here is 478-7954. If you'd like to call us, you can even catch us on Skype, which is the Good Times podcast, or text us, 0927-214-1981. You know what? It's just, uh, it's just you and me tonight because I thought we were going to have Bianca, as we do every Monday. But uh, Pico fucked things up here, and um, he booked Chopper, but I told Chopper that it's Bianca, and then everybody didn't know, and it's now going to end up with myself, Pico, Ange, Gian, and the rest of the staff here that is going to be hosting tonight's program, which is kind of it's kind of nice in its own little way, like we say every now and then, because, um, I don't know, we just we seem to have great shows when we do this kind of you and me bullshit or whatever, but so I don't mind. At all, and uh, please give us a call. Get yourself on the show. Talk about your love problem, your life problem, whatever it may be, and uh, we'll get things. I guess we'll get the ball rolling on that. Uh, first thing I want to bring up, real quick, here is I, I hear the weather is is really cold. I mean, in in Manila, which I don't know if that's a hundred percent true because you know people say cold. I mean, but is it truly cold or is it just cooler than usual? And I've been hearing it for the past couple of days. Like I was I was uh, chatting with Showbiz Bro yesterday and. Uh, while we were writing the script for the radio show, he's like, oh, buddy, good morning. I'm like, are you fucking, what is a tundra there cold? He's like, oh, so I'm going to make it. I'm like, what the fuck, really? And so, P- Pico, Ange, what, what's the deal here on the weather over there? Uh, it's pretty cold. It's cooler than usual, but it's not, it's not really cold, Vegas freezing cold, cold. Or LA cold. Or it's not I mean, US I'm looking cold. at Instagram and all the in the closet guys have their scarf out and like, scarf, <laughs> <laughs> like, sweet baby, Jesus, scarf. They just want an excuse to to use it to wear the scarf. Yeah, yeah. All right, just check. So not that. What, what are we looking at here? Centigrade, like 25? twenty five. Yeah, 20, 20. 21. Oh, twenty is not bad. That's that's yeah, kind of cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I see you. Bakas scarf nga pico. Yeah. Bili na ako na scarf, cah ano fedora mga ganon. That's right. Wow. All right. Poncho. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Fancy. Um, okay, pants ka lagi. Yeah, kasi malamig. Tsaka shirt. Hindi na ako nagsasando because mm. it's cold. Wow. Balat na balat yeah. si Pico. Yeah. Hindi, this is Pico's, uh, this is Pico's style. Uh, fucking jogging pants. That's his thing. Nothing oh, says yeah. loser like jogging pants, pants oh, but that's okay. what he wants. Yeah. Uh, you no wear worries. jogging pants in the US. Because it's cold here. It's real cold. <laughs> but it's, it's so comfortable. Sweatpants are awesome. All right. Fine. Uh, let's get to some of these calls and uh, answer them. Again, your chance of winning a lot of prizes here. iPhone 5C, one of them. Uh, let's talk to who do we have on line six? Let's go to line six first and talk to Ranilio, who's 24. Hi, Ranilio. You're in Makati. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, yeah. Good evening there. What's up, buddy? Good evening, anyway. Good evening. Yeah. What do you got? Hello. Yeah. Um, about the uh, question. <laughs> Uh, is it, is it, um, a total turn off if, you know, if you, when asked questions during sex or in the middle of sex thing, 
Uh, yeah. It depends. Who? <clears throat> it depends. Uh, like, what are you asking? Like, are you asking? Is she asking you? I am the one who asked. <laughs> Girl, yeah, it, it, and, yeah, uh, that. Yes, it it would be a turn off, but it depends on what the question is as well. What are you yeah, asking her? I ask if she loves me, and you know, she just slap me and kiss kiss me, and you know, that is what happened. And then she broke up with me, and you know, the next day. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a turn off. I mean, was she your girlfriend, the girl you were sleeping yeah, with? X X actually. Yeah, but at the time, at the time you were banging her, did you, I mean, she was your girlfriend. I asked her if she loved me and then she just slapped me. I don't know, man, that's tough. Because like, I remember having sex once with this girl who wasn't my girlfriend. And I told her, I told her that I loved her just because I thought that's what girls want to hear when you're having sex. And it backfired big time on me. And I now know never ever to do that. But Uh, I've done uh, that. I've done the thing where you're having sex with someone who is your girlfriend and you tell them you love them and they and like you know their face lights up. So it's kind of odd that your girlfriend uh got mad or slapped you or even possibly broke up with you when you told her you loved her during sex. But actually you didn't tell her you loved her. You asked her if she loved you. I don't know. I'm kind of weirded out by this because you guys are boyfriend girlfriend. I feel like that's a I feel like well yeah, you shouldn't be asking questions while having sex anyway, unless it has to do with making the sex better or whatever. Like, hey, do you want me to go down on you again? You know, or, or do you want me to 69? You know, you, you, if you're asking specific questions about the act, but not too many, only, you know, you can only ask a few and that's it. Asking a person if they love you and getting slapped for it when they're in fact your girlfriend. Kind of weird to me. How long were you guys together? Um, For like three months only. Oh, yeah, and then we broke up <laughs> after that. Yeah, that is why I'm I'm just curious. Uh, that is why I asked if you know because she she didn't tell me the reason why she broke up with me. And yeah, maybe well, was that, that. The, was, was that was that the first time you guys had sex? No. Um, actually, it's the third time. Third hmm. time. All and right. Then, I I have no idea what I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. If your question though is. Is it bad to ask questions? Generally, yes. If the questions revolve around the sex act itself, then you know, go ahead, but not too many. And then definitely, if it's not your girlfriend or your boyfriend, do not do what I do and say I love you or even ask if you love me. That's stupid. But I, I, I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem with asking your girlfriend if she loves you or not. Do you tell it? Uh, now you know what? Never mind. Fuck her. She, she's gone anyway. All right. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, not too many questions. You can, yeah, but not too anyway, but answers my question. All right, buddy. Thanks for the one. Bye-bye. I forgot to ask, did, did he say that was a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Because the guy sounded kind of you know, scarfish. Did, he did sound, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Forgot to ask. Forgot to ask if he had a scarf on. Mm. Um, let's go to line three and talk to Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's going on? You're 24. Paranyaki. Hi, Mo. What's up, buddy? Um, okay, so here's my problem. So Sure. Okay, so you know how how because I've been listening to your podcast like mm-hmm. from way way before. So you know how you always say that there are times when you end up like with a girl naked and she's really hot and you don't get a boner, right? Yeah, because it's anxiety. Well, this always. is what happens to me. Well, uh, like at first, like I okay. So my very first girlfriend. Like, we got naked, and I didn't get a boner. This was, like, way, way before. Sure. And then, uh, second time, I got naked again with her, and I still couldn't get it hard. And until it got to the third time, what, where I already got a boner, and it worked, so I'm good. So yeah. I thought that was it. But then, like, after my my first girlfriend, then came my second girlfriend, so... Same thing happened. It takes like three times. I, I got to get the girl naked three times yeah. before I get a boner. So like last year, uh, like I started being single. Oh, wait. Wait, Mo. Uh, wait. My sister's. Yeah. My yeah, sister no, went okay. out. Wait. Yeah. Hold on. Can I, I just ask? This. Wait, wait. My sister went so, out the room. Just, wh- just whisper the question and then you don't have to talk anymore and I'll do all the talking. Okay, okay. Wait, Go. let me just pull the phone over yeah. to yeah. the other room. 
You don't want to hear. It. Is she your older sister or younger sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Sorry, Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. <laughs> it's the first time we've had this on the radio. I mean, on the podcast. It's, it's Hello? Tough. Sorry. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, so. No, don't worry about it, man. Go ahead. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, she might. Okay, she's not listening. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm like. It's okay, like, when it happens with her girlfriend, because I have, like, all the. Uh, like, I just make up excuses, and I know I can still get sure. her naked. But then now, like, like 2013, I've been trying to, like, be single, you know? Because I'm 24, yeah. so I want to, like, live it up. So, but then, like, uh, I'm trying to get, like, one-night stands, but I'm I'm thinking this is going to be a problem. Because, like, last year, around, like, maybe four, there was, like, four chances, like, of different girls getting naked with me, and I couldn't get it up. And then, like, yeah. since it was, like, a one-night stand, so there wasn't, like, another repeat performance. So what do you think's wrong? Like, what do you think Oh, it's anxiety. Do? Obviously, it's it's definitely just a sexual... It's an anxiety thing when you have sex. Um, what? You know, it happens... It's an... You're just... It's... You're anxious. It's anxiety. Oh, it's, okay. Um, you, you obviously have to... I mean, the easy thing to say is relax, because... Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with your penis. It's all in your head, but that's very that's very difficult to say. You know, relax. Um, exactly. Listen, my my problems with anxiety and my boner is completely related to how hot the girl is. Like that's my problem. So the hotter she is, the more my dick's not going to work. Mm. And if she's not as hot, I don't have a problem from day one. I don't have a problem on on the one night stand or say the casual sex or you know when you're single. It's yeah. it's only when she's incredibly good looking. But but you know that might be different for everybody. Mm. I think what you need to do is just kind of remind yourself that if you've had four chances in the past say 2 months. Yeah. That means you're pretty badass. I mean yeah. it, it, yeah, I think it's just re- you got naked and like ask me to fuck them but then like I don't get a yeah, boner. So yeah. yeah, but it, it's because you're thinking about it, I think, a and lot. I, think I don't you, even know for, if I'm going to explain it to them that that's, like, my regular thing. Because, but they, they usually... Do they try giving like you blowjobs? What? You, uh, did you try having them give you blowjobs? Because generally that sometimes works. Because I mean, you maybe, so, you know, the anxiety is, is overpowering. But the BJ no, can no, overpower the anxiety. It, it doesn't work. Which is weird because I th- I thought that would be like you know the solution, so I sure. just ended up like sounding like a douchebag. Like I get her to blow me, then I don't get a boner. Then like, no, 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 no. I'm thinking the 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 blowjob might overpower the anxiety, and then you'll get your boner, and then you guys can have sex. Hmm. So tr- try getting the BJ no, no, no. first. Uh, I've actually like tried that like twice, like on two girls, and then no, no, still, still no like, boner. I want to tell them, like, I'm like a genie, like, just give me, like, three, just get naked with me three times, you know? Yeah, but uh, shoot, uh, I would... I can't explain it to them, though, because they usually end up, like, feeling offended, like, they think they're not hot enough, and that's why they don't yeah, talk no, to no, me I, again. Yeah, no, no, I completely, I completely agree, or, yeah, they might think that there's something wrong with you, it, it's so, it's case by case on what I want to tell a person who's going through this, because then I again I went through this. I went through this with my last girlfriend, where you know, I think it was like five times we tried having sex before. You wow, know, she before must have been we really were, hot. Yeah, she was no, she was really she, she was incredible looking. But the thing yeah. is, like, but but this was a casual sex thing, and then the moment we became boyfriend girlfriend, I didn't have the problem anymore because it just it, the the scenarios change in your mind and then it starts to work differently here's maybe one thing i can kind of suggest for you mm-hmm. it's a maybe this will overcome your whole little anxiety and this is going to be awful for me to say so i apologize sure. but shit the guys the guy needs the guy needs some help start fucking ugly chicks and see if that's <laughs> the problem like fuck a couple ugly chicks and let's see if you get a boner first day and if that's the case Use that as a confidence building moment that, huh, I can do it. The, the problem is, yeah. yeah, the problem is, is, you know, it's just because I'm fucking hot chicks. Try to fuck a couple thugs. Uh, uh, really? Well, I'm not, I'm not asking you to like fucking zoo animals. Uh, you know, I mean, someone who's just not as, whatever your, whatever your standard is, take it down one notch. Okay. 
you know, mm-hmm. again, you don't have to I'll fucking go that. down with yeah. the with, with the dogs or anything. Just you know, if you're if you're banging nines and eights, bang a six or a five, and and do that a couple times. See if your penis cooperates. And mm-hmm. if it does, use these as confidence building moments. Now you know you're you know you can get great ass because you have had four yeah, opportunities. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of discouraged to go out now because like right. But all yeah, you need like, now is I don't some want it faith. to get to that point. Like it would be fine if I get to like first base, second base, third base. But then I'm actually scared to get to fourth base on the first night because you know. Yeah, well, uh, that's the thing. So I want you to what I want you to do is if you bang a fuck a couple fucking uh, ugly chicks. Get that dick, oh. get some faith in that dick that it can actually work on the first day. And then from there, yeah. kind of slowly that. level yeah. up into, you know, where you want to bang. Now, again, this sounds like awful advice in terms of, you know, not that but it's it might degrading work. to ugly it might actually Yeah, but work. Yeah, it actually it. does kind of work many times. So give it a shot. See if that works out. Build a little confidence. I think obviously the problem is all in your head. And if you can, uh, if you can know and confirm that your penis does work on day one, it might be able to work in succeeding day ones with other people. All right. All right. All right, Eddie. Yeah, I'm, I'll make sure. I'll try that. Thanks for the advice, bro. No worries, brother. Now, now, wait, hold on. One last thing. When you're not hard, does it look big or does it look small? It looks small. I'm a grower. Yeah. I'm a grower. Yeah, me too. Oh, but then, like, too. I haven't had any complaints worse. from my past girlfriends. Like, yeah. Like, like no, I, I don't have. I, I yeah, I don't. I I never have a complaint. Uh, from in some terms of size wise, after it's grown, but when it's not, you know, when it's in its flash when it's small state, it's really small. Yeah, it's and really like w- shameful if it doesn't like grow. Oh, absolutely. You know? yeah, so so you're there. So you have you have a crazy good looking girl there. Yeah, and she's, she's ready to go there, nude, and, she's and then you to, like give it to her. Like, right, you, you look can. like you have a dick yeah. of a kitten. And you're like, what the fuck is this? I, I feel right, so awful. bad the next day each time and I try right. to like text them. Like some of them don't reply anymore. Yeah, just yeah. kind of go down on her. Just say, hey, listen, I only got 15 minutes. So let me just go down on her <laughs> real quick. And then you just go down on her and then just kind of, uh, I don't know. But tr- try the ugly girl thing first and then see if that sure. works out. Yeah, Thanks, that's buddy. good advice. I'll make sure you yeah. do that. All right, good. Yeah. Good man. Have a good one. Thanks for the advice, Bye-bye. bro. Yeah, no worries, sir. Have a good one. Bye-bye. And by the way, it is really cold. Like, it is really cold right now. I'm in Pernyaka. It's around 21 here in my room. Yeah. The windows are open. Are you wearing gotcha. a scarf? No, I, I don't wear scarves. No. Not for yeah, me. Good. good man. Good man. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Have a All good right, Mo. Bye. Bye. Let's go to Ray, who is 16 on Line 5. Hi, Ray. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Ray. What's up? Hello. Hey. Um. Yeah. There is a guy that bullied me since grade school and then high school. And eventually, now I'm in college, he always bullied me. And and there's one thing. He told me that he knows my family background, that he you knows that I'm just an adopted child. So you know that he, um, he always uh, talked to my friends and telling that, don't, don't be close to him because he is an orphan. He's like that. So what should I do with it? Is there a psychological or what problem with him? Sorry, what should you do with him because he's bullying you? Is that what the question is? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Stay together in one school. Okay. Is it, how much is it bothering you? Like, how much is it, is it like affecting your life? Is it affecting your studies? It's so difficult with the bullying process because, you know, so many people sometimes say, oh, just ignore it. But at the same time, we don't know what kind of toll it's taking on the person getting bullied. You, you seem, I mean, it, it might be irresponsible for me to say, but I'm saying you seem like you're taking it well. Because you're, you, I, I think you, what you do, what you can do here is, Confirm that this guy has a problem. This bully is the one who's a little messed up. Fine, maybe there are issues that you've gone through in your life in terms of, say, the adoption or whatever it may be. But if you can kind of just go, okay, obviously this person has issues, the one who's bullying me. You t- you can tend to kind of deflect all of the shit he says towards you because of that, if that makes sense. You, you, that's why it's kind of difficult with the, with the bullying processes because I don't know how much it's affecting you. 
Like I was uh, bullied a lot every day because we see each other every day, and also uh, he um, uh, he got so many words that are not not necessary. Right, and is it hurting you? Like, what what I'm saying is, like, is it hurting you? Is it making you feel awful? Yes, and one thing, when I'm still in high school, uh, I don't go inside the classroom because we're classmates. Okay, so it is affecting I don't want to see him every day like that. So I get failed, and I just go to the drop-off school here in Hydros, and he he turned also into a drop-out, and eventually, we got again in the same school. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's it really is starting to affect your your schooling and shit. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, the, what I wanted to say was, like when I was younger, not that I would get bullied all the time, but you know, I did my share of bullying because I was tiny. You know, I'm short. I'm st- I still am short. So you know, there's always people calling you shrimp or this and you know midget and you. you I don't know. I carried so much confidence at the same time that it's, it, it never really bothered me and it doesn't bother me now. And it's something that I'm not insecure about at this age because even though it was, you know, rather regular, people would call you all of these names. But if it starts to affect the way the quality of your life and, and, you know, the decisions you make in school and stuff like that, then you, obviously it's going to be a problem. So you have to take step. You have to take the right steps to do it. Now you're 16. You're in college and this guy's there. I mean, he's been bullying you since you were, you said, since you were in grade school. I really think you have to talk to the disciplinarian. Is that disciplinarian office or whatever you have there is an equivalent? Um, and just kind of bring it up and just say, Hey, listen, I'm, I, I'm not able to concentrate on school because of this guy. And if you can put us in different classes or whatever, I mean, these are the kind of the initial steps on how to get away from this situation is making people aware that it exists, asking them, to organize something where you guys are not going to be together and see where it goes from there. I mean, have you told your parents? You mean you still are a minor. You're 16. You can tell your parents, see what they do about it. But I would start with the school. Well, eventually I told my parents, but they, they just ignore it because of other problems. And I just talked to the guidance or in the disciplinarian office. Um, they just ignore it. It's just like, I am just the one who who is facing it again, and also my friend uh, losing the trust uh, uh, from me. Uh, okay. Well, you you already told the the, the guidance office they ignore it. Yeah. How many times have you done yeah. that? How many times have you approached them about it? Um, I think. Um, more than five times because and we have a class these- of guidance because I'm a psychology major and eventually it's also psychology we need to understand each other but it goes around uh, a wrong way I don't know why. all right uh you know have you told your parents yeah and what did they say um they are it's just a little problem for them, but for me, it's a big problem. They just Is there any way they just you can take it. other classes that he's not in? Um, because we are regular students, we go yeah. to the same class every day. Boy, you have tried a bunch of stuff here. Uh, listen. I, I don't know if talking to him at this point is going to fix anything. It's, it seems like it's not. I mean, he's going to bully you and bully you. I, I think I think if you can get your parents to go to the guidance office. Again, you are 16, yeah, so you're still under, I, you know. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, my parents got an invitation from the guidance, and they just ignore it. And when they know, uh, I come from the guidance. And he said to me that, oh, you're fucking mad. Uh, you don't have nice, uh, nice idea because you're fat, you're funny, like this. And the whole people in our campus staring at me. And my, my emotional level got down and everything. It's like having a blackout at that moment. 
Yeah, you know, again, I think I think you really need to beg and plead your parents to get to the school and talk to the guidance office. I th- I think I just unfor- it's unfortunate what you're going through and you've tried your best and stuff like that. I mean, it, again, it, the problem lies obviously with the bully in terms of issues. I I don't want you to th- kind of let this affect you mentally. Obviously, it's going to affect you emotionally, but I don't want you to make this kind of doubt yourself. If there, if there's anything, Ray, that like a message that I really want to give to you today, it's like this guy has a problem. He's mean to people. You know, it's he has insecurities and stuff like that. It doesn't it doesn't mean that there's a problem with you, though it becomes a problem emotionally with you. You know, there's nothing wrong with you. If you can kind of just get. It force your way almost to have your parents get to the guidance or force your way to the guidance. Go, listen, it's not a joke anymore. I am going to leave this school if you guys don't do something about it. Now, I don't know how much my money, you know, I don't know how much my money means to you guys in terms of tuition and stuff, but I, I'm not going to spend any more here if this is the behavior that you guys are going to tolerate. And then think about already changing schools. Because if your parents are not behind you and the school is not behind you, I don't want you to stay there. I'd rather you just go do it, go ahead and just leave. And it sucks because, you know, why would you have to leave? You're the, he's the bully. But at the same time, we're just looking for peace of mind here. We're trying to get him to stop. And the best way to get him to stop is not to be around him also if they're not going to do anything about it. Yes, but I've done that in, uh, in my high school days. I leave the school. And I told my mother that uh, it's not because of the tuition or what. Uh, I just leave the school and he just keep on following me. And I don't know why. He's a rich kid and I'm not that kind of rich. But I don't know what the hell is happening with him. Um, you know, it, okay, why not talk? I, God, you know, there must be someone at the school that can connect you with like the the principal or something. I mean, it can't be that every single person in the guidance doesn't care. Maybe there's a priest. Uh, shit, go to a religion class and talk to the teacher. Go to find out. I mean, find out who has a heart around there so, so someone can kind of look into it. I mean, okay, yeah, occasionally you're going to find a counselor or an advisor who doesn't give a fuck, but do all of them not give a fuck? Try, I mean, listen, because everything we're throwing out at you right now, you've either tried and failed, well, then the only case, the only other thing to do is leave or tell the police. But, you know, obviously in our country, in the province, is the police going to care about bullying? You can try, but, I mean, we have to be realistic. If your guidance counselor doesn't care, your parents don't care, nobody cares, Ray, then I'd say leave. And if you're going to have a but, but this, but that, well, then what do you want? You want to beat him up? You can beat him up. See if he stops. Yeah, I beat him up, but this, uh, I think there's no some, uh, the Ray, situation. Gets Ray, Ray, more just, difficult. Ray, do me a favor. Remo- just push the issue more with your parents. Like you're pushing it here with us tonight that you've said you've tried everything. Tell them that I've tried everything. I've done this. I've done, just please push the issue with them. Push the issue with the school. Push it with everybody you're around, and like just the more people know about it, maybe it's going to be able to 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 kind of to help your situation out. If not, I suggest you start leaving or make in the process of leaving. And if your parents go, why did you quit school? Why did you leave school? Why did you change school? It's because I've been telling you that there's a bully there, and instead of me, you know, doing something stupid about it. I'd rather, I think this is the smart way to go. Thanks for the call, Ray. Have a good one. Uh, it is a Monday night on the podcast. It's Good Times with Mo, brought to you by Globe. Taking a break. When we come back, more of your calls at 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times podcast. Text 0927-214-1981. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of 
unwrap hope, getting new toys. After a certain day, we bring it all to our book. I'm excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening here. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out and hit just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe, noon pa man hindi nyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga Orbocanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga Litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. When you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along. And I love that. That morning when we come the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning on Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? You know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers, we still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. 
Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our mall. I'm excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening today. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and hit. They go, just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa ino, may mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe, noon pa man hindi nyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga Ormocanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga Litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. But when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along and I love that. That morning when we come the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning, Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? You know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that sort of inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here, it is a Monday night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Globe. Hey, for those who use cabs to commute, Globe has some uh, wonderful news. By booking a Grab Taxi cab from a Globe powered mobile phone, Grab Taxi slashes off to 20 pesos on the regular booking fee for a more affordable cab ride. So, from the regular 70 pesos booking fee, Globe subscribers will only need to pay 50 pesos when they book their taxi service from Grab Taxi. And what makes Grab Taxi so great? Well, it uh, makes it possible for you to share your ride details over Facebook or email so your loved ones can track your taxi route in uh, real time. Now, it's pretty wonderful how that works out. So do check it out. Grab taxi and use your Globe-powered mobile phone so you can get those uh, discounts on that. 478-7954 is the phone number. You can Skype us, the Good Times Podcast, or text us 0927-214-1981 to get yourself on the show. Let's start with uh, let's start with Abster, who is 28 in Quezon City. Hi, Abster. Welcome to the show. You're on line six. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Abster. What's up, baby? Yep. Um, I want to just ask, cause, um, I'm doing yoga for the past year already, and I'm trying to meet the guy, but then I'm trying to um, encourage my guy best friend to try yoga and make it our thing, but he's telling me that all guys that who do yoga are gay. Uh, yeah, you want your straight guy friend to do yeah. yoga, and he doesn't want to yeah. do it. Yeah. And you're asking me how to get him to do it? Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Sorry. It's, I mean, supposed right? I mean, be, it's supposed to be an exercise, right? Yeah, but it's there are exercises form, form that I... It's a exercise. 
yeah, there are a lot of exercises that I don't want to do because I just don't want to do it. Okay. I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know, There for whatever, like, for example, I know yoga would be good for me in terms of being able to stretch and all of these okay. things. But okay. I don't want to wear skimpy outfits and be uh-huh. in high humidity buildings uh-huh. and just kind of sit there and uh-huh. sweat. I mean, I'd rather it be nice and I can run and you know, I'll sweat in my own way. I don't have to have the temperature to, you know, it is, the oh. temperature is always jacked up so high. You know, there there are reasons why people don't like yoga, not, aside from the fact that, oh, it might be for gays. It's not for gays. I mean, I know a lot of, <clears throat> I know a lot of people who do it, but if okay. uh, if he doesn't want to do it, it's very difficult for him to change uh-huh. his mind like you get what i mean he doesn't yeah, want to do yeah. it yeah i mean you That's can all uh, Ange here Ange here on on the, the uh, producer Ange says why don't you offer him sex then he might do it well that's true i mean there's if there's incentive yeah. to it then yeah fine but is he's not your boyfriend though right no it's not he's not you like him though oh uh, yeah yeah well, you know, you can offer him sex and see if that works <laughs> but um yeah, l- l- listen, uh, if it's not sex, I'm just kidding. Like, you guys just okay. mess around. Just say, I'll try something new if you try something new. I mean, have okay. a little X deal going. You know, instead of kind of encouraging him and, and pleading uh-huh. with him and making him go, just say, okay, hey, listen, how about this? Uh, let's have a bet or something. Okay. You, do, you think of something that I'm going to do new and I'm going to think of something new and we're going to do it together. Okay. And uh, you say it's yoga and he, if he says... Well, let's have sex. And you're like, okay, you know, or or whatever. I mean, you know, it could be skydiving, it could be bungee jumping, it could be anything yeah. crazy as well. Just kind of do yeah. that. It'll help. It'll help have a little bit more fun in your friendship, and you'll yeah. be able to get him to do what you want to do. Okay. All right. Good luck, Absir. That's good. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Bye bye. Yeah. You know, the part of the yoga that I think guys are so turned off by is really the, the outfits and. Like there's not a lot of fun going on, you know, like meditation and all of this kind of sitting there in slow movements. I think guys get turned off by that shit. You know, guys want fucking action. They want high scoring. They or they want, you know, contact. They want to hit somebody. You know, guys are like that. And when you tell them, oh, here, here's a nice little thing where we're just going to sit here. We're going to breathe and we're going to stretch. And the instructor is wearing a Speedo so you can kind of see his balls. You're like, oh, well, I don't, I don't want to do that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do that. It's hot. It's just like sweating. It's 125 degrees inside. It's fun. <laughs> I'm like, no. But it is really good for you. And I mean, if you really kind of wrap your mind around it and absorb it, it actually is has a lot of positive benefits. But I'm saying from the beginning, when you tell a guy, "Hey, yoga," like, eh, nah, no, nah, not for me. No running, no fighting, no trash talking. Just sitting there looking at man balls. Nah, I'm good. Never mind. Thanks. But if there's incentive. He might do it. Jago, you are in the Middle East, which I have no idea which yes. country. We're going to find out. Where in the Middle East? Jago? Diego? Jago, you're 24 years old in a Middle East country. Can you hear us? I think we lost him. Mm. I will is call he him there back. or is he not? Yeah, we'll call him nah, back. We'll call him back. All right, fair enough. Uh, phone number four seven eight seven nine five four Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us zero nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. People asking me on Twitter about my reaction to Bon Revilla's privilege speech. I have not seen it yet. I've uh, only kind of read a little bit about it. He said that his signature was forged. Uh, you know, again, I, I I I just heard I just read forged signature, and I'm like, God damn it! Really, you're gonna are people gonna fucking believe that? That. And I'm assuming forged signatures are – this is for release of money uh, for, from, say, pork barrel and stuff like that. I can't believe that that's how easy it is, really. I can just kind of go to your desk, take a piece of paper, forge your signature, and run away with huh, a billion pesos. Doesn't Is it really that easy that a forged signature can just do all that? Um, so obviously, if you believe him, um, I think you're going to be – Probably labeled a fucking idiot, but God, I can't stand his face. Shit, I can't stand looking at Bonafilia. Uh, do we have Jago back? Because I want to make sure to get this question in before we take a break. Uh, we have JC on line three, but no, no Jago. Uh, uh, we're still calling him five? back. All right, might as well go JC. Fine, JC, you're on line three. What's up, JC? Hello. 
Hi, how can I help you? Uh, I just want to ask me, kung paano i-ask yung ex-girlfriend mo na maging friends with benefits here. Uh, why did you guys break up? Uh, nag-break up kami because uh, kailangan niya ng time to date with friends para doon. Uh, so, she, so she wanted time alone with her friends and that's why you guys broke up? Mm-mm. Why didn't you give her time with her friends when you were together? Uh, Binibigyan ko na siya ng time and uh, hindi ko rin alam kung bakit bigla, bigla na lang siyang hindi ganun. Uh, three years coming in a relationship then biglang na So you still want to have sex with her. Did you guys have a lot of sex? Mm, before. Yeah, you know, I'd say you don't I don't think you ask someone to be a fuck buddy. I I, I think that's not the best approach for this. I, I think what you want to do is every now and then ask her out to lunch or ask her out like to a movie. Just say, Hey, do you want to go out to a movie? Not a date or not boyfriend, girlfriend, just cause hey, you know, I still I mean, I think we're still friends and uh, I'm not trying to make moves on you. Let's just hey, you know, might as well for like for old time's sake. Let's let's watch a movie, and then you go out, you watch a movie, and then you try to you know see if there's you read her body language and if this is something that will turn into just sex, and then if it does, if you guys start making mm-hmm. out or if you guys start you know kind of doing something, you make sure to tell her, hey, listen, uh, you know what's going on? Are we gonna, you know, we're not together, right? We're just friends now, and and you know you, then you kind of sell your case of wanting to have casual sex. Now, you, are you still mm. in love with her? Uh, yun din yung hindi ko sure kasi uh, more on siguro nang hihinayang na lang ako sa relationship or you know, uh, uh, one month pa lang kaming magkahiwalay. Yeah, because uh, it might be dangerous where you're going to be very clingy and stuff like that. I mean, because if you're still having sex with her and she's the one who broke up with you, it, it, you're kind of still have feelings for her. It, it could get dangerous. I mean, having sex with an ex, like having her as a fuck buddy, works if you guys have been broken up for a really long time. I mean, to break up less than a month ago and you mm-hmm. still want to now be in her life regularly but only to fuck her is probably dangerous for you as well. I'd give it a little bit of time. Let let a couple more weeks at least, or maybe a month or two, go by. Ask her out to dinner or date or fucking movie, lunch, whatever, uh, and see what the body language is like. See if she's, if she, if she kind of misses you too in that extent where you guys can continue then to be fuck buddies without having the relationship. But you but don't don't ask her right now. Don't like hey text. Hey, pwede ba naman tayo mag-sex? Kaya pa paano? You know, don't, don't do stupid shit like that. Hmm. Yung worry ko lang din kasi baka yung feelings mawala na rin if in time na tumagal. Well, that's that's yeah. the thing. I mean, what do you that's what breakups do. She is breaking up with you so she can distance herself from you and the relationship. Mm. So if you're trying to hold on for feelings by fucking her, that's probably not a good plan. That's why I'm asking you, are you there just for, are you there for the sex or do you still love her? I mean, do what do you want out of this? If it's just for the sex, then it can only be for the sex because she doesn't want you as her boyfriend. But I think I, I still love her. Well, I know that, obviously. Mm-mm. That's why it's dangerous. If you're just going to have sex with her, you're, you're going to fall in love with her. You're going to have a hard time of letting her go. I think you should move on. And then maybe a couple mm-hmm. months down the line when you don't have strong feelings for her anymore and you want to fuck her, then you ask her. I mean, then you try. But right now, that should not be your game plan. Uh, I should think of Please. it first. Okay. Yeah. You, no, you're going to fail, man. You can't just go up to mm. her right now because you still like her. She broke up with you and you still like her. So you still want to You want to just at least be a fubu? Of course not. You're going to fucking get screwed. Trust me. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid lang din kasi na baka mama, uh, makahanap siya ng iba. Or, uh, that's the... That's the... Of course. Of course. Mm. That's the point. When you break up with someone, you move on to the next one. She, your mm. fear but, of her finding someone else, that's very real. <laughs> that's true. But, she will find someone else. Pero she told me kasi na yung feelings ganun pa rin naman. 
But uh, parang for now, yun yung gusto muna niya. Then parang sabi niya sa akin, friends, uh, parang friends lang kami. Then uh, pagka maging okay na siya, then maging kami ulit. And so parang unfair sa akin kasi ba hindi ko alam kung ano yung move na gagawin ko. Parang, well, yun, that's yun, part yun, 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 of the... Up. Listen, it's the part of the breakup process. She broke up with you because she's not happy in the relationship. She's not happy at how, about how things are going. Yes, she probably cares about you. We all care about our ex for a certain amount of time after we break up. But then we move on to the next person. And you have to move on to the next person or she's going to move on to the next person. Now, mm. while you guys are still st- single, is there a chance you'll have sex? Absolutely. But she's moving on. And whether you come back into her life, we don't know yet. But at least accept the fact that she doesn't want you as her boyfriend right now. She doesn't want you, dude. All right? Okay. Yeah. All right, buddy. Hang in there. Okay. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's take a break. When we come back, we have uh, more calls to take. It's again, phone numbers, 478-7954. Skype is the Good Times Podcast. And you can text us 0927-214-1981. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast brought to you by Globe. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain day, we bring it all to our book. Excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening today. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and. Hit. Go. Just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe. Noon pa man, hindi nyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga Ormocanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. But when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along and I love that. That morning when we come on the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning, Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, right? And And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? You know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. 
You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Then the maid got Jontis. Jontis is different from Jontis. Jontis is Buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up! Tears up! Anyway, Jontis does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. So John this and I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. So many snacks. What is that? Tapos. Ang puti. Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Continue. <laughs> Yan, yeah, para sa show mo ha. Oh. Rico, ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba ito? Oil absorbing. Pwede pa tong pang nose line. <laughs> okay, oh. may caution. A ah, caution! When, when caution! Basta ng glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Burahin na, burahin na siya. Oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang glamour! Ito talaga? Pwede bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap mo. Buti dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakas na natin. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What you've been missing on The Factory. Now we're gonna show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War sent on the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice. It's a new to playing already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. But before that, I was I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show. How not to play? It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, six to seven p.m. Only here on the Factory. But she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast <laughs> and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here, it is a Monday night. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. 20th of January, by the way. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Phone number 478 Skype the Good Times podcast. Text us 0927-214-1981. Just me and you guys tonight. No Bianca, which was, I think, a little scheduling problem, but no worries. We'll have Bianca. So, what's, wait, hold on. Ange, what's the deal? Who do we have this week? Like, how are we going to set this up? Tomorrow is who? We have Divine Maitland Smith. And on Tomorrow? Wednesday, we have Kat. Kat Alano. Alano. Thursday, we have Francine Prieto. And Friday, we have Don Balagot. Where's Bianca and all of that? You know how delicate she is. I mean, I mean tomorrow? You gonna throw her in any of those things? Mm, yeah. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it's sure. Beautiful. We'll see. We'll we'll play we'll it see, by yeah. ear. Yeah, we'll we'll fair yeah. enough. We'll, right. we'll plan All it. Right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Just saying. You know, I'm gonna blame it on you guys. Why she's not here? If she gets uh, upset about that. Um, let's go to let's talk to Fan on line five. Hi, Fan. How are you? Hello. Hi, Fan. You are 23 years old. What's up? Yeah. Um. How can I ask my husband to go down on me again? Oh, he stopped. Did you have a yeah. baby? Yes. And that's when he that's when he stopped, like after. Yeah, he gave but birth? it's not like he does it a lot before. Maybe before I gave birth, he did like on me like three or five times. <laughs> really? Shoot! Mm -hmm. Do you go down on him? 
Yeah, I, that, the that's time? the problem. I like yeah, doing we'll blowjobs, and I'm super good at it. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Uh, <laughs> I like a girl with confidence. Um, stop giving blowjobs. I know you you like giving them, but maybe stop giving them blowjobs and see if he if he goes why. Maybe go because you don't do it to me. You know, you kind of <laughs> playfully say you know, but you don't go down on me, kind of thing. But uh, wait, let's let's hold on. Let me first ask what the status of your vagina is. Is it is it Kept well, hygienic, yes, it looks yes, good, smells yes. good, tastes Actually, good. Actually, he likes it bu- bushy. <laughs> he likes it bushy. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Because I shaved it once and he asked me, why, do you, why did you shave it? And I said, it's itchy. <laughs> and then he doesn't like it. Well, don't shave because shaving is bad. I mean, maybe you should try waxing it. I don't know. I, I know that pubic hair is no, coming back. No, he doesn't though. like it bald because he thinks I'm a. He, it it looks like a porn star vagina. <laughs> he thinks. Well, so how do you how how do you keep your pubic hair? Is it like super bushy, like from one side to the no. other, or you know no. how the ja- oh, okay, <laughs> you know how Japanese porn star have it yeah 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 so a healthy amount okay fair enough all right well see all of a sudden you look like a porn star you look like a japanese porn star um (laughs) okay so how to get him to go down on you how often are you guys having sex um maybe um thrice in two weeks something like that yeah that's not a lot though maybe you should try having sex more and when you're having more of it Maybe, you know, you can kind of guide him going down on you. I like already if, if, asked him, I, I already said to him that if you won't go down on me, I won't go down on you. I was afraid. Too bad. And what did he, he said? What did he say? Okay. He said too bad? Huh? What? What did he say? Okay. And then he didn't go down on you? Never. <laughs> Jeez. I don't stink uh, down there, though. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, I masturbate and I sometimes smell my smell it. vagina. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. smell bad. You don't see dogs going up to your no. vagina <laughs> and smelling it? Okay, all right. Um, I think you just have to stop giving blowjobs. I mean, if you've already no. told him, I know, for me, listen, it's, it's a sacrifice just for a little while. Like, if you've already told him that you wanted him to go down on you more and he doesn't want, I suggest you stop doing it as well. And I suggest you shave, or I'm sorry, you wax your pubic hair because if he doesn't want, because he goes, why did you do that? Because I gusto ko. And he says, eh, ayoko. Eh, hindi ka naman pumunta dun eh. So, what's the point? Right? Okay. So, if I were you, it, it, it's, it's a, what's going on here? I think it's a power struggle. I mean, like you're saying, hey, listen, I want you to go down on me. He's like, no. Uh, he says, okay. But he won't do it. It's like, who are you to tell me? What to do? Okay, all right. Guess what? I'm gonna wax my vagina. And he's like, "Why did you do that?" It gusto ko. You know, you get what I mean. It, it, I feel like you guys are trying to overpower each other. He he does. He says he doesn't like the taste of it. Well, there, he just doesn't like go. going down there. That's what I was asking. Yeah, that's what I was asking you. Well, yeah. If he doesn't like the taste of it, then that's a tough sell. But at the same time, <gasps> okay. most guys. I- Try Most tasting it as well, but it doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> yeah, but some guys are really don't like it. Some guys think it's kind of kadiri. But at the same time, if you're one of those guys, you should you should know that your girlfriend or your wife has your, your balls hitting her face, like on her chin. You know, it's like <laughs> it's not like your balls are any any more, I guess, tolerable. So you he has to take one for the team. Dear, I'm on your side, fan. I want him to go down on you. I want him to, even though if he doesn't like it, I want him to go do it because that's what you're supposed to do. There are a lot of things that I don't like doing that I'm going to do for someone I love. I mean, you're not asking him to money every single day. You guys are doing it three times every two weeks. What's three times of going down on your wife every two weeks? That's not a big deal. You take out the trash. Nobody wants to do that. But you take it out. You put it all together and you throw it out. You do things that you don't want to do. And in, and in this case, it's satisfying your partner. So I, I think you have to do it. If you don't want to do it, shame on you. Shame on you, boys, if you don't want to. Then stop giving blowjobs for the meantime and see if it works. 
And Just what try. if I stop and still doesn't? Uh, stop having sex altogether? What? <laughs> uh, or start feeling sexy. Start, uh, have you gained a lot of weight? No, I'm 5 flat and 45 kilos. Start feeling sexy. Again, start waxing your vagina. Start doing things that like that you feel sexy about you and let's see if you'll either A be threatened by it, meaning, oh my god, parang yung asawa ko medyo sumi sexy ako nandito lang, wala akong ginagawa, you know, about it. Or B, he'll be excited about it and go, "Wow, super hot." And then kind of get back in the whole wanna fuck you all the time mode. Start feeling sexy about yourself. Start working out. If you're not going to go to the gym because you're not going to go to the gym, okay, you work out in the house. Like, make sure that he sees it. That was, yeah, do something. Wax your vagina. Get it lasered. Do something like that where he's like, oh, what's this? And then you go, wala, kasi wala. I, I mean, then you can say, I just want to feel sexy because we don't do it as often as we used to. You don't do certain things for me. So, ako na lang. I don't to be an I don't love you. It's just when it comes to feeling sexy, gusto ko mag, I want to feel sexy because I'm only 23 years old. Sayang. I asked him before why we don't do it often. He says he's just tired. And last year, we just had sex once. Last year. The whole year? Yes. Holy shit. He's not uh, cheating. Is he depressed? I don't know. I don't know. Is he taking any medication? No, no. Does he drink no. a lot? He he drink he drinks a lot, but he's not a barumbado type. Um, when he drinks, hmm. he got he gets rowdy. Oh. <sighs> yeah, boy. How old is he? Thirty. <laughs> well, that's not too old. Yes. All right, let's. Why, tr- where is he right now? It's 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 nearing midnight. Is he at home? No, he's not. He's at work. He's he's on business trip. Uh oh. No, he's not cheating. Uh, I, all right, I, all right. I, be- I believe you. I believe you. Start feeling sexy. Buy a vibrator. Make him catch you <laughs> using it. Like halimbawa, like tonight, di ba? Alam mo business trip siya. So let's say babalik siya mamayang gabi or tomorrow night. Make sure kung alam mo. See, I'm 10 minutes away or 15 minutes away from the house. Pull out the vibrator and start masturbating and make him catch you in the act. <laughs> and then, what are you doing? Why are you You know, something like that. Puto ka dito, mm-hmm. You know, something where you kind of invite him when he sees it visually. And really start feeling sexy about yourself, I think, is, is really a good way or a good, a, a good place to start. Hmm. All right? I feel sexy, man. I know, but I'm talking about different. Like, feel sexy about yourself. Like, work out in front of him. Like, show him that you're confident about your sexual sexuality, and 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 pull whether it be pulling out a vibrator, waxing your vagina, fucking working out in front of him. Do all of these things, you know, that he might not like, but hey, I like it, and this is, you know, I want to feel sexy, and, and I'd like you to be part of it. Okay. And hopefully, he'll step up to the plate. We'll see. I mean, again, I. These are all suggestions that we don't know if they're going to work because we don't know what your husband's like. But we're going to try every little every little thing to alter and see if it works out. Okay. But he's happy? Or do you know if he's happy? I, I whenever he gets on this mode, like he only watches TV when he got home, and I ask him what's what's the problem, and. He just says to me, you're thinking too much. I'm not thinking anything. and I don't have any problem. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, tough. He's uh, very ta- ta- turn, ta- turn. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm worried about you guys. I think guys should start, start being a little more proactive about this relationship and communicating better. Don't ask he's, questions he's, like, uh-uh. well, don't ask questions like what's wrong. You know, try not to try not to like form you, formulate your questions as a negative, and let's let's just see if he kind of responds to that. Be happy about yourself. Be happy about how things are going, and let's see if that kind of helps change his mood about things. 
Maybe. I don't know. It's tough. I, mean, I feel bad for you because you're young and you want to live I... it up and you love your husband and you just want to have sex and you want to go to. I mean, yeah, oh, that's all great. He's not reciprocating that. So there, I want to know what the issue is with that with him. Yes, I mean, he's he's not cooperating. Yeah. And you verbalized that you told him, "Hey, I want you to go down on me more." Yeah. And he's like, uh, and you only had while sex having, once last year. While giving him a blowjob, <laughs> I asked that to him because I listened to you in your advice before. Yeah. And did he like the blowjob that I told you to yes. get? Yes. And yeah. while I'm giving him a blowjob, I asked him to go down on me, and he oh. said no. <laughs> he said no. Shit. Yeah, there's some guys who don't like it. There's some girls who don't like it. I mean, it's, but he should be able to take one for the team. My goodness. H have a little bit more sex, too, okay? I mean, I, I, two times or three times every two weeks is not enough. Try three times a week. So s let's double it, six times in two weeks, and see if he can get back on, on, you know, in shape for yeah. this relationship, okay? Try that. And if, if he doesn't okay. want to, if he doesn't want to do it, Break up with him. Just no, no, yeah. Give him, give him a blowjob anyway. And then, yeah, think about breaking up with him in maybe a year or two if no. he doesn't really shape up. No, I'm serious. You're 23. I mean, come on. You guys, this is not your life. I mean, you want to have a little bit more fun with your husband. Um, all right. So, well, thanks for the call. Again, try those things. I, you know, the whole no sex, no blowjob, remove that. Let's, let's, take away, let's take that away from the plan. I, I said that earlier in the call because I didn't know that he wasn't happy with the taste of vagina and he wasn't, he was, he seems like he's, kind of depressed in his life. The, yeah, yeah. Let's remove the negative and start putting the positive back. So have more sex and see if that helps, okay? Okay. When you formulate your questions to him, make sure you formulate it in a positive manner and just kind of see if he responds to that stuff. Okay. All right, okay. thanks, baby. Oh, yeah. Good luck. All right, bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you, Mo. Um, you're welcome. Let's go to Edwin, who's 33 in Quezon City. Hey, Edwin, what's up? Hello, good. Gandang umaga ba o gabi dyan sa'yo, Mo? It's morning. Yeah, okay lang. Thank you. Magandang gabi sa inyo dyan. What's up? Sorry. Uh, no I have problem. a personal question for you. Sure. Anything. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but uh, it's regarding Rian Ramos. Sure. What's up? Do you still have a communication? And may, may possibility ba na magkaroon ng bali ka or something? No, <laughs> not not at all. Um, <laughs> medyo na, medyo I, naging fan ako nung, uh, nung lumabas yung mga... PGB, you know, so, and wow, parang, you. I feel, I, I look at na parang bitin yung love story. Um, yeah, well, no, I, I, would, I think we ran our course, um, in terms of relationship. We have no communication if, if, you, you know, to answer that as well. And, um, yeah, no, it was just a, it was just a bad experience, I think, for both of us. Like, I, I don't want to sit here and say, oh, she was awful or this. I, I just, it was bad for everybody. And bad it's experience? something I think. Why am I? You're so good together. Uh, it, it, that's what we try to show people. But, you know, behind, I guess, behind the scenes, if, if I may add, if I may use that, it was not very good. I mean, you can, again, you can. No, I mean, she's very, very intelligent. And that was always something nice. Obviously, she's gorgeous. But, um, it, you know, there are morals there that we, we didn't kind of look eye to eye on for certain philosophy, how to handle problems and situations. We kind of were in different levels. So, um, I think uh, I think she'll make a great girlfriend for someone else, and uh, that someone else, you know, whoever it may be, is you know, hopefully they'll uh, enjoy it. But yeah, her and so, I, no way. So what if what if since sabi niyo sabi mo wala kang communication, so what if Rian uh, make the step to communicate with you? No, uh, I, I again like I'm pretty secure no, I mean, about where I am just, now. Ano lang, I just making lang na story. Yung mali mo ganon yung magyare. So, I, will, I would okay. I would like to hear what needs to be said because you know, just because it was such a public and volatile thing. But in terms of reconciliation or even just like forgiving for all of the problems and stuff, I doubt that's going to happen. Even oh. forgiving is not going to happen. So sorry to to burst your bubble. Here. <laughs> 
mag apply sana ako presidente ng fans club niyo kasi wala lang wala na pala. <laughs> yeah. Couple years too late, but thanks Edwin, you're the best. I appreciate your kind heart. Thank you. Okay. All right, buddy. Have thank a good you, one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Let's go to Val. Val, you're 30 in Cebu. What's up? Hey, Nine Mo. Five. Good evening. Hey, Val. Hey. Um, I had a question because uh, this morning um, my office mates and I were arguing about something that I said. What did you say? Because here's the thing. Uh, my office mate received a flower from his uh, boyfriend. And um, and I I said to her that uh, since you receive a a bouquet of flowers from your go- boyfriend, uh, you should give him some some tonight. It's a, something sure. that uh, yeah, that's uh, you, uh, we expect guys expect girls, especially if you give them flowers. So it started an argument with the rest of my coworkers and. Uh, um, I don't know. Most of them were against it. So I wanted to get your opinion about it. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're wrong too, Val. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Seriously, dude? Yeah. <laughs> flowers is not like, you got to give me sex in return. Like, what was the occasion? Why did he give flowers? Um, uh, I, I don't know. It was just a surprise, perhaps. Surprise. You know, you know. listen, we'd like it. We'd like if we'd have sex. We'd like if we have sex whether we give flowers or we give nothing at all. I mean, it's still great. But expecting it from flowers is like, no, I, I mean, I don't agree. Okay. Now, but let, let me, let me though, let me, let me at least be on your side a little bit. Most other gifts... Yes, we expect sex. Okay. Uh, can Flowers. You this? Oh, fuck. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Um, let's say any okay. kind of jewelry or if you want to get DOM style, condo, coche. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. obviously there's an expectation there, uh, okay. you know, coming back. Cell phone. I mean, you know, not that we expect it. It's we, we, we get, if you're if she's in a relationship. The guy's willing to give her gifts. Then that's because he loves her. But to expect sex, you're right. Guys are going to expect it. Exactly. It's, that's the, That right. was my point that I was raising. You know, right. But, but flowers, you hardly ever say, oh, I expect something back. <laughs> and, and to even say the word expect is kind of douche lord because – you're not supposed to expect a sexual payment or a sexual payment in return. I mean, it, okay. it's, 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 it's weird to think about it that way, but it's true. It does exist. You're like, okay, you know, we went out to a nice restaurant, nag order ka ng steak, napakamahal naman yung steak, nag wine ka pa, which, uh, you know, in, in the end, yung bill natin naging 2,000 pesos. I better get some fucking tonight. You know, you, you exactly. think about it in your mind, yeah. right? I can get some yeah. fucking tonight. But it's not, that's not the reason you gave it. There you go. That's it. That's not the okay. reason you gave the gift, but yes, there's some sort of level of expectation that I'm going to get a blowjob out of this too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my point, yeah. it's a, uh, uh, something like the bros think, right? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, but again, the, I don't want girls to also, I don't want to mislead females listening to the show thinking that, oh, so you only gave me this because you wanted sex. No, we gave it to you because we loved you. Yeah. However, it would be nice to get my dick sucked. Yeah, uh, that's exactly. All. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so so you're, way, part, you're partly right, but partly wrong at the same time. What's up? Uh, okay. Uh, I know you really, you hate this one, but uh, since uh, most of my students, I, I, I asked them to listen to your podcast. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, dude, uh, you're amazing. And uh, it's it's one way of for them to improve their communication skills is to listen to you. Um, you're an Thank opinionated you. guy. Uh, you speak your mind. And uh, Mo, we miss you here. Uh, we partied a lot this weekend for the Sinulo. That's right, Sinulo. That's about, right. dude. You should have been here. I mean, I've been uh, in Sinulo many times. It is a lot of yeah. fun. You're right, man. And, exactly. You know, it's dude. it's good so, stuff. But I'm here, so. But thank you, man. I appreciate that, and I appreciate yeah. the the endorsement to your students and and all of that. I that's that's all that's all very kind, and you know, uh, again, thank you. Again, because uh, uh, I've been teaching for uh, a number of years, and uh, I've been following you even uh, during the morning show. But uh, right now, it sucks because our local station doesn't like really um, air out your shows anymore here. 
So right. You can just, download uh, it. You can download it on uh, iTunes if you want. I, I think Pinoy Radio Fan is the one that puts it up. Um, and yeah, uh, if you just type in "Good Times and Mo the Radio Show," it's there. You can still download it if you'd like. Yeah, exactly. So um, one of the reasons why I, I called up because uh, um, I've been endorsing your show to my students, and they said, "Why haven't you like called Mo?" Because uh, I don't know. I just love listening to you, and sure. it was partly uh, the, the end of my deal. Because I, I told my students if they did good with their uh, test, uh, I would have the courage to uh, call you up, talk to you, and uh, this has <laughs> happened. And by the way, uh, I um, I was supposed to call you last week because the uh, cover girls for January. That's uh, right. Were, uh, and, but unfortunately, my 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 son uh, who is celebrating his uh, seventh month birthday tomorrow, uh, a few minutes from now. Uh, he he was not feeling well, so I had to sleep. I wasn't able to answer your phone call. So guys, uh, people in the studio, I'm really sorry for that one. By the way, Mo, you have uh, good-looking uh, people at your studio. I just saw them. Yeah, so they, they, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they, 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 they edge beautiful. Uh, She's like a yeah, little bit edge. Yeah, you, um, that's why you're yeah, one yeah. lucky guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate all the kind words. You're you're very very uh, generous. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. And again, to your students, thank you so much for listening to the show we really really love hearing from people like you and and really from Cebu mismo i think you know there it, during season 1 i think it was like nueva ecija was our favorite like province that would call this season easily it's cebu cebu has been Freaky so cebu. entertaining yeah, yeah exactly. crazy ass cebu has crazy, been so entertaining this season we appreciate it yeah totally yeah. And you said that uh, when uh, when Dillinger call, uh, was the guest, that we have the craziest callers here. Oh, easily the craziest fucking people call from it. But now when I say crazy, not hindi yung mesaya, yung talagang wild talaga yung mga calls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that that's always fun, and we appreciate that contribution to the podcast. Thanks again, yeah. man. I, I thanks You're for welcome. the call. Uh, I know. Have I a good know. one. Carlos said John would come back to the podcast. Yeah, I well, you know, listen, I, I've I've received a couple requests for Carlos Sadran. Hey, uh, Pico, can you or Ange, can you mm -hmm. schedule Carlos for next week? Sure. Yeah, exactly, cool. dude. He was the All right, one yeah. of the best. Sure. All right, well, we'll 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 go ahead and get him. He's really cool about being on the program anytime, anyway. So he'll likely be here then next week. Thank you. Thanks, Thank man. You. Thank you. All right, have a good uh, one. No problem. Have a good one. Bye. You too. Bye bye. Let's go to Aaron, who is 18, on line 6. Hi, Aaron. You're in Laguna. What's up? Hello. Hi, Aaron. Hello, Pa. Hello, Pa. Pakilakas lang pa ng boses. Uh, about po sa question ko. Yeah, anong question mo? Ano pong mafeel ng girl if, kunyari, if magsasex sila, uh, yung guy po, virgin pa, tapos yung girl hindi na. You know, we asked this question to the FHM girls on Friday. They said they don't have a problem with it. Okay lang sa kanya. Actually, it's, it's, it's even exciting to, to think about having a virgin guy and you being, you know, the girl being a non-virgin. I, I don't think it's an issue until you start getting into a certain age. Like, if you're in your 30s and you're still a virgin, then as a guy, it, it kind of makes me wonder what happened. Like, how come... How come you, nothing ever happened to you? Like guys always are looking for sex and stuff like that. You're telling me your entire twenties and your thirties, you didn't have any? Like there must be a problem. Like were you in jail or were you? I mean, there's a, there must be an issue there. So I, I think like when it gets to that, questions will be asked. But you're 18, and if you're 18, you're a virgin, and the girl you're gonna have sex with is not a virgin. There's no problem there, and she might in fact even enjoy it more. Because there's that conquering thing, or is that I'm going to teach you how to do this thing. So don't worry about it too much. Okay? All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Whatever. Uh, do we have Ching? Or are we, do we have to take a commercial break? Or are we wrap, we're taking a break and wrapping it up, right? Uh, we're just waiting for the landline call. We have someone on landline. We're just getting the And then details. what about on line six, uh, Ching, the 19-year-old from Makati? Should we get her as well? Uh, we're calling her now. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Um, yes, so tomorrow we have Pico. Who do we have tomorrow again? Uh, uh, Divine is... Maitland Smith from Pinoy she's Big the... Brother. <clears throat> is she the lesbian one? Yes. 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 Relax, Ange. Oh, I... Jeez, 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 relax. Jesus is she hot, though? She's, she yeah, is. she's very pretty. She is. 
But she's like Pitbull, or she kind of yeah. no, like... She's, she's in yeah, between she's the... Man, you know. She's a bit manly. Yeah. She gave me a bro she's hug. She's a bit manly. Yeah, she, she gave me a bro hug. Like the, she's cute. You know the she's cute. One. Yeah, she gave me that one. What's her name? Well, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to type it in here. Divine Maitland, Maitland Smith. Smith. M-A-I-D-L-A-N-D. Smith. Smith. <coughs> What do you mean she's butch? She, she's very butch. What? No, she, she's she looks like if Lola Solis was kind of cute, this would be her. Oh, no, okay. she's not butch. No, she's cute. I mean, yeah, yeah no, she's I, pretty. I, I, listen, she's pretty, but no, she's not she, in between. She, she, wears, this is, she wears makeup and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> but she's not lipstick, so she's in yeah. between. We'll ask her what, you know, what, she, what she classifies herself as. Please don't say pit bull. I'm okay, not when you're around that. them. I'd never yeah. say that. Yeah, and no bulldog. Yeah. yeah, no, none of that shit. No ma- bull mastiff or yeah, anything. She's like that. Be, just say, yeah, you she's know, good. Yeah, what kind just, of, yeah. She's yeah be let's good. not, let's not. Like tough, insult. tough lesbian. Yeah. What, what are are you. Uh, How do you butch-ish? say it? Butch. Maybe you can butch-ish is, is fine. Because yeah. like, yeah. butch is kind of tough as well. Oh, yeah, right. Butch-ish. Maybe. Semi butch. Butch. Semi butch. Yeah. All right. All right, All fair right. enough. Yeah. So what's the deal? We're going to get this guy or we're going to go? Uh, go name. Uh, Zoe. Zoe. Zoe Line Zoe. 3. three. Zoe, B, Zoe, what's up? Zoe. Hi, Mo. Hi, Zoe. How are you? How's your boyfriend doing? Great. <laughs> so what's I up? have a question. I'm, um, I'm really concerned with my close friend right now. Yeah. Her name's uh, Renee. She told me okay. that I could publicly say it. So, yeah. Sure. Her name's Renee and... She has an LDR right now. Right now, actually, they've been together for almost a year. Mm-hmm. And she told me that at first it was okay, parang focus lang daw siya don. Tapos parang ngayon her sex life is, you know, not that great. <laughs> Kasi wala well, course, talaga. Yeah. Tapos yeah. yung ewan ko yung hormones niya or something. Tapos talagang she even told me na tigang na daw siya, ganito, ganyan. <laughs> and currently, may like, nag approach daw sa kanya sa school. Sure. And then, she she doesn't know what to do. Pero in-entertain naman niya, kahit pa paano. But, sobrang, ano na daw talaga siya, like, tigang na tigang. And, uh, yung ka-LDR <laughs> naman niya, sobrang ano talaga, parang, uh, hindi masyadong sensitive towards sa sure. mga sinasabi ni Renee kasi yung guy parang self-centered all about work and stuff tapos pag where, where is he? yung LDR where, like what country or province? US or? I think California okay. how old is uh, Renee? Renee is 22 ooh wow okay is yeah. she pretty? yeah but she's really pretty <laughs> oh. oh she's a really kind girl and okay, well, hold on. Guy, we're gonna need when, Renee's. When Skype sila every day, the guy doesn't even like uh, know what Renee's feeling or, or how her day was and stuff like that. But Renee's really, you know, into him, super mm-hmm. into the guy talaga. Because I, I don't know. She really loves him. That okay. It's no matter, no matter what the guys. Uh, says parang go lang siya nang go in 13 lang niya yung mga sinasabi ng ka LDR niya if it's work and stuff and how how was he his day she wouldn't care parang kung hindi man itanong yung day ni Renee tapos parang okay. dumating pa nga daw sa point na yung guy he even bought a uh, $2000 shoes tapos kanina nga lang sa school she was crying and she told me putang ina pwede na siya pumunta dito noon Sa shoes lang, pwede na kami mag-sex, buong linggo, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, she was actually Pico. crying earlier, yeah, I know. and I feel so She's bad crying, for her. Pico. Yeah, I know. Her vagina is in tears. I know. Yeah, her it's vagina, oh my God. What's it's her, her tears, page, 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 what's, her, what's, page. what's her Twitter? What's her Twitter uh, names, just so we can kind of look her up, please, if you don't mind? Yeah. I don't know if she has Twitter, but she does have Facebook. Okay, well, what do we type in for Facebook, Renee, here? What, yeah. what, am, I, what am I typing in? So here it is. R-E-N-E-E. 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 Uh-huh. Isabel. That's a double L. Isabel. Okay, hold on a second. And it has an E at the end. Uh-huh. And Salgado. Uh-huh. Is, Salgado. Isabel. And what's the last name? Salgado. 
S A L G A D O. Salgado. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, I can't find her. Hold on. Rene Isabel Salgado. Oh, here she is. University of the Philippines. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a little, there's a little heart evangelista maybe in her. What do you think, Pico? Ooh. Hold on, I haven't seen her yet. Oh. But in no picture, please. Hold but on. she's actually very, you know, outgoing, and she's super duper smart, incredibly well, yeah, smart. Yeah, U- UP. Yeah, what but she, I like her about vagina. that, and she is, yeah. she's her actually crying, really though. fierce. But you know, when it comes to to her. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I take back the heart of Angelisa thing. She's a lot more chubby. Um, I, it was just the pro, the profile photo, I thought. But then, no, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. She, I mean, she's cute. Yeah, she's cute. She's, she's, right. she's cute. cute. I mean, yeah, you know, seven, whatever. Yeah, um, she's cute. <clears throat> but but you know, I, I, again, her vagina's crying, and we have to get to yeah, the bottom of this. Her vagina's yeah. really crying. <laughs> oh, where does she? Where is she from? Is she from you know, Manila? You know, you know, her vagina is is, is a vertical. You know, but hers is sideways. Not a side. <laughs> um, <laughs> Frowning vag. <laughs> um, listen, what's the plan on Mister LDR? Yes, we did two thousand dollar shoes. Pero ano nga gawin niya? Ano may five year plan ba sila na siya pupunta dun sa states or si si boy pupunta sa Pilipinas because. You, you know, I'm sure you've told her this, and maybe we need to remind her here on the podcast that she's wasting great years of her youth. I mean, these are times where she should be going out, and a girl as cute as she is, I'm sure there's no shortage of suitors there. Um, and you've already established that in the beginning of the call, saying that, yeah, there's a guy that likes her, and she's tigang na tigang na. I mean, I, obviously, we don't want her to cheat on her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. But I really think you encourage her to break up with him and say, hey, it doesn't have to be a bad breakup. It could just be a thing like, well, you're in the States. I'm here. We're both very young. Maybe we should get back into touch with each other when we have a better plan kung anong gagawin natin and with this relationship. And the is, yung nag sa kanya dito sa school, sa, sa Pinas, brain ache niya. Brain ache niya kasi ganun talaga siya ka... Star, right, like, like super. She's well, it, okay, like going it's, gaga over okay. this LDR guy. Yeah, and, but she's going gaga. But at the same time, she's frustrated with him because you know, bumi bili ng shoes, pwede man bumi ng ticket. You know, so she is mad about it and frustrated, and that's a good thing because it does it shows naman na hindi naman lahat ng mga bagay wala siyang problema with. You know, she needs to have issues with his behavior and those issues tend to become tiring and frustrating and then eventually she'll break up with him because she can't no longer accept it that's all good for her so maybe you can just continue to encourage her by saying oh parang i don't feel like this guy cares about you as much and sayang naman you're 22 tapos maghihintay hintay ka dito total it's not going to end well at this point and i i would advise her the way the way i told you is why don't they break up first? Cool off period. And when they have a better plan for anong gagawin nila in the future, halimbawa, in three years, nasan na tayo? You know, when you have a better plan, a three-year plan, then you guys can get back together into this LDR. But in the meantime, mag cool off muna kayo, pag-isipan nyo, anong gagawin nyo, anong plan nyo, and then, while she's in this cool off breakup period, then she can start fucking other guys and her vagina won't be crying anymore. Yeah. But her family even approves of yung ka LDR niya. That's fine. Because, again, remember, you're not going to have a scandalous breakup. You're just going to tell the guy, let's, we're young. I know you want to have fun. I want to have fun. I, I mean, I really care about you. I love you. Alam mo yun. But unless we have a long term goal, I think we should put this relationship on hold. Tapas kung may idea ka, halimbawa, in the next six months, May idea ka do anong gagawin mo? Are you gonna come here? Am I gonna go there? Like, ano mga sa atin? When you have that, then we can think about this relationship again. But in the meantime, let's not so much because we're in school and we're young and we're this and that, you know, you're working. You know, come up with all of these bullshit excuses just so they can break up in a very good manner, in a positive way. She can fuck other guys already. And then the plan is not even. To not the plan is not to just to fuck other guys. The plan is what are we gonna do with this relationship? Yeah. I want to know what, what's gonna happen. It's it's just a bonus na 
she's going to be able to fuck other guys. They also have but, this thing, this like strange loop thing, when like there's a problem that's going to happen, the guy's going to be like all kind and all and all caring and all stuff like that. And then when time heals, it's going to go back again. And yeah, they're totally trapped in this strange loophole. And Yeah, you know, listen, they're going to break up. Um, what's your name again? Uh, Zobi. Fucking Zobi. They're going to break up anyway. I, really, this doesn't look like it has the makings of a successful relationship. Mm-hmm. If you can tell your friend, if she can listen to this show right now, yeah. Rene Isabella Zaglado. Yes. <laughs> listen. Scream it this out is, loud. This, yeah, this relationship is going nowhere. Trust me. Mm-hmm. And I even regardless of how much you care about him, I know you do, you have so many things against you. Again, I say this all the time to, to our listeners. Write down a list of the pros and the cons of this current relationship. And you'll see that the cons by far are, are winning. What are the cons? He lives in the U.S. And what that entails time zone. Long distance and no sex. That's Kant. What else? He would never ask you how your day is. So he's selfish, self-centered, and he doesn't genuinely care about what's going on in your life. Okay, mm-hmm. let's put those on Kant. What else? Um, when we fight, he pretends to be nice, says he's going to change, but always reverts to being a douchebag. So he puts him on yeah. douchebag. So that's category number three. Mm-hmm. I mean, it goes on and on. So what are the pros? The pros are, well... Nothing. Nakakabili siya ng $2,000 shoes. So medyo mayaman siya. Okay, ka- uh, pro. Uh, ano pa? Guapo siya. O, yun nga, pero hindi mo naman nakikita or na-enjoy dahil LDR. So medyo nagiging con na yun. Y- you get what I mean? So when you get that piece of paper and you look at it and you realize, good God, why am I here? If there are 10 things on this list, 7 of them better be pros. Then you can start. That 7 at least should be pros. She's got maybe one thing going for her. In which he's a little rich, maybe. I don't know, whatever. But everything else is heavily on the con side. Yeah. And look, she's got a crying vagina and a friend who's concerned about her well-being. So if you're listening, uh, Renee, and you can download this and, and let her listen to it. Yeah. You're 22 years old. You're cute. You can go out there and have a ton of fun and just live up these wonderful years. Because you don't get these years back. 22 is a super hot year, man. That's mm-hmm. super fucking hot year. If you're going to waste it on this guy, shame on you and your vag. Yeah. Follow me. You can be fucking other dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, what do you do? What do you, when did you start hosting this show? What's sorry. all this? What's all this second voicing in the background? Sorry. sorry just agreeing with you. <laughs> Nothing. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, wait a minute. What are you? Did I ask you? Did I go, hey, Pico, what do you think? No. no all of a sudden, you're, bu- you're butting in with your stupid <laughs> opinions because you're getting horny. No, it's open. No. I forgot the mic was open. My bad. <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> oh, amen, amen, amen. Yes, Jesus. You know what in the congregation? That's what Pico's doing with an open mic. No, but, but Pico's right. I mean, you know, listen, look at that. You're telling us the story about this girl, and there are guys all, over, all around getting excited. Look at Pico's excited already. He's not even met the girl. That's, that's, you know, that's what happens when is, you're cute and you're 22. The sad thing is, she's like a really. You know, outdoorsy, adventure, party girl, and just now she just she's just like she's on. She looks like she's on crack right now. Gabe, sobrang gloomy na niya ngayon. Yeah. yeah, sayang, sayang. Pico, paki paki bigay naman ng sunshine sa buhay ni. Yeah, oh my, I, I, I feel bad for her, so we need. You know, yeah, yeah. Is the name of the boyfriend JP? Yeah. Yeah. What an asshole. Right. Pa ba sila? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure what? Pa ba sila? Let me see. Inarel. Uh, hey, Pico, naka inarel na ba sila? Uh, I don't know. I know. I didn't check. Uh, we, we're not friends on Facebook, so hindi yeah, no, I just checked Inarel. the pictures. And... Yeah. yeah. So, All right. Ayun. All right, buddy. Hey, listen. Try to get her to listen to the show. Isabel, yeah, I'm telling you. I will. 22 years old. You should be single, or at least the guy should be, the, sh- the guy should be next to you at all times right now, man. Yeah. Thanks, Zobi. You're a good friend, Zobi. Thank really, you. you're a good friend. You're a good you friend too. to have Bye-bye. to anyone. Thank you, Papa. Wow. That's friendship. That's friendship right there, Pico. You see that? Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you ever screw Rene over, you're going to deal with Zobi. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Of course right, not. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap it up. Say our goodbyes. I like him for caller of the night. I, I think he was entertaining. So maybe we'll give it to him. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's take this last commercial break and come back and wrap it up. Don't go away. (laughs) 
stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our mall. excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening here. Yeah. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and they go just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe, noon pa man hindi nyo kami iniwala. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga Ormokanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga Litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. But when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along and I love that. That morning when we come on the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning on Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? But, you know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with GLOBE. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here, it is Monday night. Good times with all the podcasts brought to you by Globe. Want to wrap it up and give caller of the night reward to... I, I like the Zobi, our last caller, because he was such a good friend. He was concerned about the uh, welfare of his good friend's vagina, see Rene Isabel Salgado. So uh, congratulations, Zobi, your caller of the night. And uh, hopefully you win a really good prize that you really, really enjoy. Tomorrow on the show, we have Divine Maitland Smith. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys then. So I want to thank Globe for being our major sponsor, all the people who call the program, people who download this especially, and all the people who watch it online. We appreciate you guys very much. Staff as well. You guys do, do such a great job. So see you guys tomorrow. And, um, yeah. Oh, Ange, happy birthday. I know it was your birthday the other day. We didn't get a chance to yeah. greet you on the podcast. So, happy where's birthday, Ange. birthday Ange. gift? Where's, where's Mark Fit? He's going to be on the radio show t- later today. But that's on the radio tomorrow. show. What about the podcast? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Just got to wake up early and listen to him. Um, yeah, we'll have him on the, on the, on the podcast. So we, I mean, on the radio show. So, just go ahead and listen to them. What a, what a handsome devil. All right. Let's get out of here. Have a good night, guys. Bye, everyone. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.